This is how Blue Lock literally changed the face of sports manga. A manga about soccer as the World Cup is taking place. A manga that gives us a taste of egotism on a whole nother level. Everyone in the manga is out for themselves, whether the characters are on each other's team or not. Regardless, this is survival of the fittest, and anyone who can't produce is made to leave. Can't score? Bye. Can't pass? Bye. Can't read the play? Well, you get the point. Every character in the manga is made to have a special ability that sets them apart from each other, which is explored upon early and explained as the manga goes on. The manga even talks about the difference of luck and coincidence being more important than actual skill, which is a touch of realism, as in real sports, life doesn't go, always go as planned. I can't tell how many times I was on the edge of my seat, in suspense for the very next action. The highly active and unpredictable moves is what makes this show nuts to butts crazy, whilst also very enjoyable to read. I don't think I had a single moment where the players were, were in a match and I got bored. There are just way too many factors that play a role in what creates a super sports manga. Part 1. The Characters Every character is placed with a different personality. Want a lazy overpowered character? Have Nagi. Want a cocky superstar? Have Baro. And the list goes on. If you couldn't tell already, these personalities clash and connect through the manga, which creates exciting dialogue and scenes that would otherwise be bland if not for the characters, setting themselves apart. Isagi, our main character, is realistically down-to-earth dude, who at times will do anything to survive in Blue Lock, as he is one of the most rational thinking characters on the show. A stark contrast would be Raichi, who is irrational thinking and dumb. Whatever it is, there is a character for everyone in this manga. One of the characters that stand out the most to me as a looming threat to everyone is Sei Atoshi, an ultra genius and a super athletic guy who only wants to verse the best of the best. There's no way that you can't get hyped. Oh, and did I forget to mention Ego, a literal badass coach who designed the whole system that allows these guys to surpass their limits? Like this dude talks a lot of shit and is able to get away with it because he knows how to create a perfect soccer player. Part 2. Challenges the Blue Lock system was created to challenge the every move of each character. They literally play a game of tag to test if they are even worth Ego's time or not. And the dude who was the future Nationals project got absolutely denied. I'm not saying that the show was being too harsh on the characters is a good thing, unless you love constant 24-7 action in your face. So expect a different challenge every time the characters become better. Enjoy full field soccer or 3v3s? There is every type of play you can come up with in this anime which is just another crazy aspect that sets itself apart from the typical sports anime. Part 3. Art From the style to the characters to the story and so on, this prospect of the show is a godsend. Literally every panel is perfection and done in a way that it is not ripping off any other manga artists. Every scene is so fresh and dope looking that you can't help but smile no matter what you see. I never thought kicking a soccer ball could look as cool as seeing a Kamehameha from Goku, but in this manga it easily surpasses that which is why it differentiates itself from other sports anime in terms of artistic merit. You could go from a detailed Jojo-like expression to a goofy One Piece expression in just one panel. In only a few panels, the manga is able to convey everything it wanted. Expressions, crispiness, and coolness is how I like to describe this manga. Part 4. Stakes They introduce the stakes that force them to evolve as the show goes on. And for those characters that are unable to evolve, they are left out of the show. I feel like this is a nice addition to sports anime as it adds much more suspense and hype to scenes that would otherwise be not as impactful in other sports anime. Our main protagonist is taught that the world revolves around him, and only him, so that he can become the world's best striker. This is what I would love to see in other sports anime, a protagonist who accepts his fate and works on becoming an absolute beast. Part 5. Aspirations The exciting thing is that every character has an aspiration to become the world's best striker. However, the way that they do it is different. Since your typical sports anime, you would usually see the characters doing everything together and being all buddy-buddy to achieve their goals. I can tell you now, there is definitely no power of friendship bullcrap as I said earlier. It's everyone for themselves. However, that doesn't mean they don't share similar aspirations. Part 6. The Main Character Isagi is a perfect main character as he represents everything the show is about. Rational thinking egotists. To become the world's best striker, you must think like the world's best striker, which he executes perfectly every time. And by the way, he has always has something up his sleeve every match that'll leave you in anticipation of his next moves. Part 7. The Conclusion This manga is a must read for any sports anime lovers, as you will 100% be surprised at the twists and turn this anime has to offer. Oh yeah, can you also twist and turn that thumb to subscribe button please? Only a handful of you have done it. 
Anyways, thank you guys for supporting me. I really appreciate your kindness and I'll see you guys later.